My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Let's go! Mocha release which is probably one of the most important releases of the year. Oh my god! I did not expect that. Oh my god, I just got another one. This is absolutely going nuts. Oh my gosh, I just got another checkout. In a few days, we have some Sakai's dropping. I don't know what it is with Sakai's. I seem to do pretty well on them. I'm always able to cop at least one. Can we keep our Sakai streak going? Well, we're gonna have to find out on the next episode. Today we have Sakai's and we have Dunks dropping. These are shoes that I'm supposed to be taking seriously, but I won't be, at least not as much as I initially planned. If I was, I would be renting out Balco right now since they're pretty much on top of Shopify for the most part if I'm not mistaken. But instead, I will be experimenting with Soul AIO. The new update looks really cool, so I want to give it a try. Hopefully we get something today. Not sure what happened there, but I had to take a guess. Maybe I was just too slow and ended up not being able to hit. So that's that. So I figured out my mistake. Basically the way size ranges work in Soul AIO is that it goes in the order in which you select the sizes. So for example, if you put size eight, nine, 10, it's gonna go in that order. The first size that I had for my tasks is size eight and a half. So basically all of my tasks went to size eight and a half and that size is a little bit more difficult to get, especially considering that the stock numbers aren't that high. Now that I know that I am going to be adjusting my setup Hopefully, we can get something. Unforeseen error, dude, really? Oh my god! If thing continues, I am undefeated on Sakai's, bro. Today we have Jordan 1 highs releasing and then a little bit later on we also have some dunks releasing on concepts. The Jordan 1 resale prices aren't going to be super duper crazy but they're still going to be profitable so I am still going to be going for it. As for the dunks, I think those are going to be super duper profitable and that would be really dope to get those in hand they look absolutely fantastic i believe all the drops apart from sneakers are going to be on shopify so since i was pretty successful with soul aio yesterday i'm gonna keep on using it let's see if we can get these shoes
Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, Soul AI, yo. Let's freaking go. If I'm not mistaken, the stock numbers is less than 200 and... Holy crap, that's impressive. What the hell do you mean? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Am I gonna get it? Am I gonna get it? Yo, yo. Please, please. Yes! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, dude. My voice just cracked like OD. I got one. Yes! Freaking W is like crazy, man. Here they are, we are going to take a look at them by first starting off with the most boring pair of shoes and then we're gonna work our way up towards the heat. So uh, let's have a look. First off, we have the Dunks. This is probably the Dunk with one of the worst resale values uh, as far as recent releases are concerned. And I am not surprised, it looks very very basic but as with all the Dunks that I've basically gotten so far, the quality is super on point, very very soft, definitely something that I would wear. Next we have the Jordan 1 Midnight Navies. Oh wow, these are not that bad. Really loving that silver swoosh, pretty neat, but just like the previous pair, personally I find these to be a little bit boring, but uh, that silver swoosh is pretty freaking cool. And then the Sakai's. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. It looks so messy and awesome at the same time. I wonder what would happen if like you accidentally get this caught onto something and then the piece just breaks off. That would suck. It's really, really chunky. It reminds me of like the Balenciaga triple S's. But I feel like the paint job on the side is not exactly the best. I'm not sure if they did that on purpose, you know. Either way, super dope piece. Can't stop looking at it. It's a work of art. And last but not least, the Concepts Dunks. This box is freaking awesome. I'm not sure uh, if you sell these shoes. I'm wondering if they require you to ship out this outside box as well. In my opinion, this is a great way to get your sneakers stolen because people would know exactly what's in here if they pay attention to the sneaker world whatsoever. But either way, super great concept. Uh, you see what I did there? Super great concept. Let's have a look. What the heck? This is insane. The box is absolutely incredible. How do you open this thing? My goodness. Okay, so first thing on the top is this thing. Dude. They really went all out on this. Is that actual like food in here? That would be nuts. Okay, no, that's uh, that's just a design. I thought they would like include some sort of like Lunchables thing. Then we have a piece of paper with turkey on it. And then finally, the shoes. Whoa. What the hell? Dude, the swoosh is sick. If you look carefully, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff sticking out of it. I think that uh, is supposed to mimic a turkey. I don't know. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of these shoes. Like, I mean, it's beautiful. It is a work of art. I personally wouldn't wear it on my feet though. All right, I'm gonna put this all away now.
those FTSE re stocks went pretty well. Torpedo AIO absolutely worked like a charm. I was able to check out a bunch, basically one per profile. I could have gotten like a lot more, but I think the way that Torpedo works is that it forces you to only get one checkout per profile to prevent cancellations. However, um, in the past using other bots, I personally did more than that and sometimes they would ship out even though I got two per profile. But other than that, it did work really well. I wish I did have more billing profiles. The virtual credit card provider that I was trying to use at first did not work. Basically, the orders that I copped using the virtual credit card provider were instantly canceled. So I just decided to go with my regular profiles. So I did get a bunch of checkouts. Out of all of these checkouts, only three of them got canceled. So I am very happy about that. They already started shipping out the pairs that didn't get canceled. So I am looking forward to getting them in hand. Anyway, tomorrow I do believe we have a Yeezy drop there is a timer on the Yeezy supply page but nobody really knows what's going to be dropping yet some people are saying it's going to be the 700s some people are saying that it's going to be foam runners we don't really know we're gonna have to find out though on the next episode